do not say anything. I don't believe your philosophy. Isn't that gullible and exploitable? Somebody jumps you in the line, gave you the finger, and all you could do is smile and move back? Honey, I've told you, this is, this is not a, a philosophy. This is like a way of life, you know, a transformation. I've been transformed. I, I don't believe this. This is not the James I married. The James who will speak his mind on campus, irrespective of who gets hurt. The James that makes me feel safe and protected. The fearful and dreadful James. What stupid transformation are you talking about? Are you okay? Are you okay? Is the baby pushing against my diaphragm? I will feel better if my husband can just learn to stand for himself and protect me. Help me with a pillow. My back. Fast now. Is that good? I think so. Are you put on here? It's okay. Sweetheart, you know, I love you so much. It, it's not even a question of love. You know, if, if you can measure my love like, like the weather, the barometer couldn't hold the degrees. If you wanted to, to measure my, my love for you like weights on a scale, the scale would just shatter into a million pieces. I'm still the same James in the flesh, but I've been transformed on the inside. James, I don't know so. I don't know so at all. It feels different with you these days. I'll get the massage oil. Ah, I don't know. Not your massage. Are your palms that feel like that of an African mechanic? What? I will feel better if you can support my legs. Both legs. Can I have some cake? Pass now. No, no. Give me. Um, what is that? You. Um, yogurt. yogurt. Give me yogurt. Spoon. Well, I won't use spoon. Okay, okay, okay. It's okay. I don't, I don't, I don't want. I don't want. I don't think I can take it. We have some ice cream. Yes. We... Come. We are shaking like a lily. Sit down. See, don't bother. Fine. Okay. I'm fine now. Thank you, sir. And I just want to let you know, it's been a pleasure working with you. And I wish you and your firm the greatest success. And lastly, I want you to know that I'm praying for you. I know you've had some difficult times lately, but I believe and I know that you'll overcome this. What? Oh, the cancer, sir. Who told you? How did you know? Everyone here knows, sir. James. Who exactly are you? I'm James. James Anderson. There is no way you can be that 
joyful and happy with all the pressures of life. No way. He's just perpetually joyful and happy. Who, sir? Ah, James. Who is James? He used to be the director of sales and marketing in my organization. Used to? He was let go this morning. Oh, did you commit an offense? That's the sad part. After serving the firm for 15 years, he was let go without adequate compensation. I, I couldn't even fire him. I had to get security in case he let loose. And? I, I've never seen someone like this in my life. How? He took the letter, opened it, read it, looked so deep, and he was so joyful, and then he thanked me. What? This is ridiculous and unacceptable. After serving that miserable company for the past 15 years? Uh, honey. I, I don't want you to work yourself up over nothing. This is, you know, it's okay. I'm already worked up, and I'm about to ignite fire in that organization. We will sue them so hard they will go bankrupt. No, 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 no. That that that's that's not necessary. You know, God God doesn't allow anything evil to happen to His loved ones. Everything you know happens for a reason. Yes, I agree with you for the first time. These they have done we make us become millionaires by the time we win the lawsuit. That is the reason. No, 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 honey, you're getting it wrong. You know, you're, you're, you're getting it wrong. That, that's, that's not the... Rubbish! Hello? Honey, are, are you there? Lord. Lord, help me. your help. I know you have a reason for everything. I know you do. I know you do. And he made the most shocking statement I've ever been told. He said he was praying for my cancer. After being fired, Yes, I have been told I'm the meanest man in the organization. But I felt a joy spur from his heart. And since then, I have not been able to get over it. That sounds like an angel. Indeed. He must have been an angel. With all the money, success, I have never had such joy that James had. I mean, I thought... The death of my son, John, was the last straw. Then this. Don't be too hard on yourself. Even though this is a stage four cancer, I know you are a fighter. You will survive it. Well, I have said, if I have to die at all, I must know the kind of joy that James has before I die. One day, I must know that joy. But have you ever asked him why he's so joyful? I asked him. Who exactly are you? I'm James. James Anderson. How can anyone be this joyful and happy, especially after being fired? I don't understand the words that are coming out of your mouth. Sir. A wise book says, and I quote, Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Let everyone come to know you by your gentleness. The Lord is at hand. And also, be anxious for nothing. But in everything, in play, prayer and supplication, with gratitude, make your request known to the Lord. And then 
the peace of God which surpasses all understanding will keep and protect your hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. As for this, and don't worry, sir. It'll be well. And I want you to always remember that. Thank you, sir. It'll be well. That's from Philippians. I remember that from my Sunday school memory verse when I was 10 years old. Huh? Who is Philippians? It's not who, but a book in the Bible. Bible? Why couldn't he just say Bible? He said it was a wise book. It could be because you ban all religious discussion and effort in your office. Oh my God. So that is how I met the Lord. James Anderson touched my life with his joyfulness and lifestyle as a Christian. Now I know why he was always so joyful. Because I've experienced the same thing. Now I can rest in peace. To die now is gain knowing that I get to enjoy the blissfulness in heaven. It's just been so hard without John. My life has been shattered without him. Megan, my daughter. Megan, my daughter-in-law. John was my son. I think I can call you my daughter. Do not kill yourself before your time. John, John wouldn't want that for you. By the way, I've been told you have not gone back to work since John's death. I haven't. I called in, like I've been doing for the past three months. Megan, listen. I need to tell you about Jesus Christ. Hello, Mr. James. I'm afraid we have a serious problem at hand. As you know, your child has a serious case of TOF, Tetralogy of Phallic. It's a heart condition. And I'm afraid the only way I can deliver your baby is if I have a pediatric cardiothoracic surgeon at my bedside. The only one we have is on leave because her husband died three months ago. The only other solution I can give you is to transport your wife to the medical center downtown. Now, I'm afraid there's a 9 out of 10 chance that she might not make it. And I will need you to sign these consent forms. Well, she, well there's a chance she might not make it, you say? Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Can, can I have a minute, please? Sir, we don't have time. Yeah, I, I understand. Can I have a minute? Okay. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. I, I feel like this, this weight has been lifted off of my heart. Like, it, it's, almost, it's kind of weird. That is what we call the salvation of the soul. This is what Lord Jesus Christ can do. Now, I think it's time you go back to work. No, no, no. I need to spend more time with you. I can't go back to work. Not right now. No, no just a few Megan. more weeks. No, 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 no. Megan, your duty calls. Go to the hospital and save some lives. I Is he all right? He's losing it. He's been singing since you told him to sign the consent. Does he not know we're almost out of time? He knows, but he's been singing. Doctor, I have Dr. Megan on the phone for you. 
I told you not to call her. Nobody called her. She just called out of the blues. She says she's coming in. Okay, okay. Hello, Dr. Megan? Hey, Dr. Christina. Anything? What are you doing? Coming to work. I can't let you do that. You're still, you're still... Morning? Come on, I'm fine. Anything? Are you sure? Absolutely. Well, actually, we do have a high-risk case of TOF. We wanted to transport the wife to downtown medical center. What is your ETA, your estimated time of arrival? About 10, 15 minutes. Prep the OR, stat. Prep the OR, she's coming. Okay. Mr. James. Mr. James. Mr. James. I have some good news for you. This concept form, don't need it anymore. Hallelujah! You know. My God. I just want to thank you so very much. You, you're truly, only God can bless you. Mm. You know, you're truly an angel. You saved my wife's life today, and I thank you so much. My name is James, James Anderson. and James Anderson? Did they name James Anderson that worked with Richard Parks? Yeah. My God. <laughs> One second, sorry. Hello? That's it. He transitioned to heaven. You are the reason why I came in today. You led him to Christ. And, and literally nine hours ago, he led me to Christ. And I just, it took me out of a dark and gloomy area in my life. And I didn't know I was coming into that. It saved the life of, of the, the wife of, a, of an angel that, that saved my, my father-in-law's life. It's because of you that, that I, I, I know Christ today. Thank you. Just full of iconic figures The people praise them They stock us up at a high percentage The giants in our eyes The sky's the limit The picture painted is larger than life But God is bigger Your God is greater I weigh them on the scale Like cracks and gators Found that only God can save us And God is gracious That's who we flock to In the day of trouble And when we blow it like hot food the song's official, nobody's greater for Sean Mitchell. You got it right with that song, it echoes the heart of scripture. Yeah, they wonder why we so serious. It's cause Jesus Christ is also man, period. Okay, my Jesus, the sun turns the king of kings and he's gone on earth. My Messiah born and raised to give us all a second birth. And from heaven he came down to free all that we're bound. God the four and twenty fell down, casting down their crowns, saying, Thou art worthy, Lord, to receive glory, honor, and power. So every man, woman, boy, and girl, let's let this 